Hey there, I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation and today on Habitat Hints, we're gonna talk about the native compass plant. And I'm gonna be joined by MDC's Austin Dixon. He's gonna tell us all about this important plant right here you're seeing and we're gonna learn all we can today on Habitat Hints. So let me turn this around and we'll chat with Austin. All right, what you're seeing here is just the beautiful compass plant and Austin Dixon with MDC is gonna tell us about the importance of this plant and why, why it's so awesome. Like really it's such a native awesome plant. So tell us about that. Yeah, so compass plant is one of our most beneficial na native wildflowers to Missouri. It has a super deep root system. It can go down upwards to six feet. So in terms of uh, creating organic matter and soil health, it's one of the best we've got out here. Um, as you can see here, we're underneath the power line and we also wanted to talk about the benefits of not mowing. So this compass plant along with the rosin weed and the other forbs you're seeing in here, none of this was planted. They're all native to the seed bank here. And you can see they're mowing the side of the county road we have here. Um, but if you decide not to mow, you can see the effects. Uh, there's all sorts of butterflies, bees, different insects in here uh, utilizing these plants. And in turn, with all the insects that we're bringing in, you're bringing in small game, songbirds, dick sizzles, golden finches. Um, so there's a wide variety of beneficial impacts that not mowing in this compass plant can have on our environment. Now this compass plant, very simple. I mean, is this something that you need to plant or is this something that is pretty native that it might just pop up on its own? It's, it's very natural. It pops up very often times in road ditches like this, but it'll also show up in a lot of seed mixes that we have for uh, pollinator plots and CRPs and native plantings. And where can you, you're talking pollinator plots and seed plantings, where can people get that? Or where can they find information on how they can get uh, pollinator plants like a seed planting when they want to plant later on, or yeah. earlier on? I think your, your best bet is to contact your local private land conservationist. They'll be able to set you up with different seed vendors who have different seed mixes for your liking. Uh, and you can find them on your website on our website under the local contacts page. All right, all right. Anything else? You know, you talked about mowing. Why is it important not to mow all the time? Yeah, um, it, this is a great example of mowing straight to the ground. You can still see if we let this grow back, it would probably be very similar to the the strip of compass plant and the other forbs. But there's nothing utilizing. Uh, this mowed area. If if you were able to be standing here, you would be able to see all the different insects, the flies, the yeah. bees that are in in this wildflower mix over here versus the nothing's utilizing the mowed area. All right. Well, I appreciate it, Austin. Thank you very much. And I'm going to echo what he said. If you would like to learn more about the compass plant or the importance of or finding more information about native plants, go on our website at mdc.mo.gov. Thanks and have a great rest of the day.